Hello friends, this video on life processes part 30 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now look at the process of translocation. What is translocation? It is the movement of food from leaves to different parts of the plant. Let us quickly look at the phloem tissues. Phloem are generally living cells except the phloem fibers. So this is also made up of several elements. Let us quickly have a look at the phloem elements. They have sieve tubes. These sieve tubes are tubular cells with perforated cell walls. So if you see their cell walls have perforations and these perforations and the plate is known as the sieve plates. These perforations are basically known as the sieve. That is why they are called sieve tubes. The sieve tubes are accompanied by the companion cells. The word companion means a friend, somebody who accompanies. So these companion cells actually accompanies the sieve tubes. What do they do? They regulate the metabolic activities of the sieve tube elements. So here you can see this is the sieve tube, this is the sieve plate with perforations and these are the companion cells. So the companion cells are kind of supporting the sieve tubes. Now these sieve tubes along with the companion cells are mainly used for conduction. So the sieve tubes along with the companion cells are used for conduction. So other than this they also have phloem parenchyma which is mainly used to support the sieve tubes and also store food for the for example xylem parenchyma was also mainly used for storage similarly this phloem parenchyma is also used primarily for storage then we have phloem fibers which are again dead cells and they are only to give mechanical strength to the plants so what did we see that in xylem it was the trachets and vessels which were actually used for conduction. Similarly, in case of phloem, it is the sieve tubes along with the companion cells which is used for translocation. So what all does a phloem conduct? A phloem conducts the food which is, which is prepared during photosynthesis and is stored in leaves. It also conducts some other important substances like hormones, amino acids which are needed by the plants. So product of photosynthesis that is starch or glucose is transferred into phloem tissue using energy from ATP. Now osmotic pressure of the phloem tissue increases. So now we are seeing what actually causes this translocation to take place. Like how we saw in case of ascent of sap, it occurred because of the processes diffusion, osmosis and transpiration. Similarly, why does translocation occur? What causes it to occur? Now, the product of photosynthesis is passed into the phloem tissue using the energy from ATP, right? That is the adenosine triphosphate molecules. Now, once the uh, transfer is done, so what happens to the phloem tissue? The osmotic pressure of the phloem tissue increases now, when there is a difference in pressure, the phenomenon of osmosis will take place. That is, materials will start moving from the phloem tissue, which is at higher osmotic pre pressure, to other tissues, which are at lower osmotic pressure. And this actually leads to this process of translocation. So, translocation is mainly governed by the change in osmotic pressure. Due to the transfer of the product of photosynthesis into the phloem tissue, the osmotic pressure of the phloem tissue increases. Therefore, the materials start moving from higher osmotic pressure of phloem tissue to the lower osmotic pressure of the other tissues. So let us quickly distinguish between xylem and phloem. In xylem, we have unidirectional transport. That is the transport is only in one direction that is from downwards to upwards. But in phloem, it is bidirectional transport because from leaves, it has to come to the lower branches as well as to the upper branches. So it has to go everywhere basically. Xylem transports water and minerals from roots to the aerial plant parts, whereas phloem transports food and nutrients from leaves to different plant parts. Xylem are mostly dead cells at maturity. Phloem are mostly living tissues except the phloem fibers. Xylem occurs at the center of the vascular bundles whereas phloem occurs on the outer side of the vascular bundle. So you can see here, this is how a vascular bundle actually looks look like. This is the cross section of a vascular bundle. So if you see, these are the xylems. These are the layers of xylem and the outer layers are the layers of the phloem. 
so the xylem lies towards the center and the phloem lies towards the outer side thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again